Hello everyone, welcome back to part 6 of The Sims 3 Supernatural. Wow, Bone Hilda is looking pretty hot. She has never looked bonier. Those double joints though. <laughs> I kind of wish we could do more special interactions with Bone Hilda. We can only really chat with her, and that is pretty much it. It would be nice to have some special stuff. <laughs> she seems like a fun character. So Felix is taking a shower. The shower that Meadow had previously booby-trapped. So I wonder how he is going to take this. <laughs> Okay, so Mystic is practicing her hunting skill. She is on level two. Hopefully she'll catch a few things. Yeah, looks like he is kind of kind of pissed at Meadow. He's like, Meadow, why did you do this to me? I've been so nice to you. I've been like your big brother. So he has been pranked. What tastes worse? The embarrassment or Felix, where are you? Did she make you invisible or something? How did you do that? Wow, you are impressive. <laughs> really digging that yellow hair color on you, though. Natural blonde. Okay, so Meadow has entered a nice grapes gardening competition at the fairy place. <laughs> okay, are you still outside? I have no idea how he's doing this. Felix definitely has a few tricks up his sleeve. Okay, so you are going to smelt some stuff and we're going to accept a gift from a friend. Looks like Mystic is having a pretty big ordeal. <laughs> I hear Mystic over there just spazzing out. Hopefully he or she is catching a few things. So I did want to accept a few gifts. I am going to save these ones for my World and Island Adventures series, as they do need money there desperately. <laughs> so I will be accepting the ones for Supernatural in this Let's Play. So we have one from Claudia Rocks, one, two, three. What do we have, Claudia? Okay, so the chance of conception is increased and twins and triplets are also very likely procreation. That is interesting. So we are going to send a gift back. Let's do a luxury care package and thank you so much, girly. So maybe eventually we might use that. We'll see. <laughs> I do want to try to use these supernatural bottles, all of these elixirs. So what else do we have? We have a skill booster. That's pretty cool. I like that. We can probably use that for Silas when he is working out. Or anyone really, I guess. Okay, more from Claudia. Ad nauseum. I guess that makes you sick. <laughs> Maybe we can just give it to another sim and make another sim sick. <laughs> okay, watching your supernatural LP. Hope this helps. It probably will. I do love doing this gift giving thing. It's really, really, really fun to me. Potin Melikani Serum. The perfect antidote to having fun or enjoying the company of others. Well, that's interesting. I never really used any of this stuff before, so... I am really excited to finally use some of it. Yay, we have lots to use. <laughs> Vial of Bliss. Cool. I do like that one. Really, really appreciate the gifts, Claudia. I have been playing World Adventures lately. Any suggestion of where to go after Egypt? China is probably the easiest 
location, I'd say. <laughs> In my Let's Play of World and Island Adventures, they are already on visa level 3 for China. That was super, super quick to do. <laughs> so, Jar of Potent Discord instantly destroys any Sims relationship with another. We won't use it on our Sims, but we might use it for another stranger. So we have one from Cool Tree 69 A swarm of angry bees and a bottle ready to attack. <laughs> Sounds pleasant. Yay, more skill boosters. Okay, Flask of Potent Sleep. At least we're getting a lot of really cool potions here. Okay, more ad nauseum. We're going to make the whole town sick. <laughs> the way it should be. So, I do want Felix to enter the trivia contest tonight. It is a full moon again tonight. So, yay, more zombies. Okay, so I want you to go on over to the Vault of Antiquity. Drop by the library first, I guess. Okay, so Meadow, you are... How did you do for your gardening competition? Hopefully she did well. <laughs> oh, she got fourth. She won 350 simoleons. I'm proud of that. There you go. Perfect. Project Aura of Soothing. We'll do that. Look how cute this little fairy house over here is. I do like this one. It definitely is a lot more fancier than ours at home. Okay, that's weird. We have a criminal here. <laughs> a little bit weird. Apparently she is not very sneaky. <laughs> so Mystic is now a hunter. That's cool. Man, you're still taking that shower? <laughs> Are you just waiting to get in there? Yeah, you're just standing there, Silas. You're wasting so much time. Ever want to get back at those roommates who just stay up late? causing all kinds of ruckus. <laughs> like Felix, I guess. He does stay up pretty late doing bad things, like stealing cars. <laughs> Meadow can now fairy trap a sofa or a love seat to zonk them out temporarily. She can also use the skivvies trick on Sims to let them know it's time for bed. That's cool. I've never gotten this far with fairies before, so I am looking forward to that. Okay, you're finally getting into that shower. Jeez, took you long enough. <laughs> I wonder who's calling you. So Persephone is still at work. After work, she will be getting her fortune told. So she still wants to go out on a date with Haley, so maybe she does have a few feelings for her. Oh, she's going to talk to Baby's Broth. <laughs> Nothing weird about that. Okay, so I think Felix... Oh man, Bo is here again. I swear, they are always running into each other. <laughs> Felix always has his, has his guard up when Bo is around. Where are you, Felix? Over here. <laughs> You're invisible at the moment. Yeah, the full moon is here now. Persephone is out of work. Go enter that trivia contest. So once Felix is done with the trivia contest, I think we should invite Erica over. That way maybe they could even form a pack together and maybe potentially go hunting together. I don't want to waste any more money, so we're going to get done with our fortune now. <laughs> so you can come over. Hopefully she'll come over. 
Okay, so this little girl, apparently she transformed into a werewolf. Did not even realize kids could transform. I thought you had to be older than that. <laughs> That's good to know, though. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, except I already know that you won't, calls the fortune teller as Persephone leaves the caravan. Okay, that's that's cool. Good, solid advice. <laughs> Yay, we got first prize. I'm starting to think that first prize is probably the only prize we can get. You know what? There were pretty girls at the library, so maybe we'll go on over there instead to quickly introduce ourselves. I just want Persephone to meet some people. What is this? Complete nonsense. Please, Persephone has seen better predictions fall out of a cookie. <laughs> That's cute. So it looks like Persephone did not believe a word that the fortune teller has said. But yeah, I think we should introduce ourselves to some of the ladies. They are attracted. <laughs> she could be a good one to get with. She seems like a party animal, someone that Persephone could have a bit of fun with. She even wants to know her signs, so maybe we'll talk to her for a moment. Yeah, I'm just going to line them up a little bit, I think. We'll get to know her. And I guess we can do perform private reading, but I don't think we're good enough to do that yet. <laughs> so I think we'll hold off. We'll shuck a bra. And uh, talk about the cold. It is pretty cold, only two degrees Celsius. Pretty chilly. All right, so you can do that, then you can go home. Okay, so it looks like Erica showed up. Don't yell at us. <laughs> She's going to ruin the group outing if she yells. Instead, how about we ask her about her day? I'm still unsure if we should be romantically involved with Erica. I know a few of you guys suggested that Maybe Felix and Persephone could have something going on, but in the meantime, I think it would be nice to focus on Persephone's heartbreaker wish and try to form some sort of life for Felix. So if they do become romantically involved, Felix and Erica, it might not be a long romantic relationship, not sure, but I do like Erica, but I do think it would be cute, too, to get Felix and Persephone together, too, as they are super, super different from each other. Kind of like Meadow and Silas, they are super, super different. Oh, you have work? Oh, don't go to work. <laughs> Can you call and fix it? Yeah, do that. Because I do want you to stay at the graveyard tonight, as I do have a few plans for you. So go back to the graveyard, and Meadow, as she was going home, she saw a man at the graveyard who looked a lot like Silas. So she kind of followed him, and is very curious to know why he's going there when he should be at work.
is extremely, extremely concerned about Silas. She is asking him why is he here all by himself on a full moon in a super, super creepy graveyard. Meadow is a little bit scared, but Silas is not scared of the graveyard. So looks like she did brighten his day. Good sims know exactly what to say to make someone stay better. And that is exactly what Meadow is doing. She does not know what is bothering him, but she does make him feel so, so much better. This does not mean that they are in an official relationship, but they are starting to get to that point where they can't really ignore their lust for each other, that feeling that they are having for each other. I wonder if the full moon, yeah, there it is. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, he's hugging her. Oh, wow, Meadow, you are so, so strong. <laughs> Okay, that would have been so much cuter if Meadow did that with him. Just saying. <laughs> oh, we could even ask him to forsake being a vampire. It's not that easy, though. <laughs> Give him another shy kiss. Yay, we got paid for our sick day. <laughs> yeah, give him another kiss. Because these guys are really really becoming closer with each other mm. Aww. <laughs> i love them so so much so i think silas was a little bit surprised that meadow was the one to initiate the first kiss he was not expecting that so silas Kissed under a full moon, there's nothing more romantically heart-fluttering than smooching underneath the full moon. Ooh. Drank from a fairy. Drinking from a fairy gave Silas a buzz and a half. <laughs> I guess her blood was more alluring than others. So, I think I will be ending this part here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys, and I'll be talking to you later. Bye! Hello.